Hey guys, this is a video about styled components. Now, I'm not an expert on styled components, but I did experiment with this uh, style components for a week or so, and I've been reading a lot about how it works and read a couple of tutorials and actually changed my apps to use style components. So this is a video for total beginners and who are interested in style components and was wondering how they can change or upgrade their existing apps to use style components. So what are the style components? Style components allow you to write CSS inside of your JavaScript components. So like React components, for example. Now you probably have done something like that. So if you do it React Native or a while back, there was a movement to put CSS inside of JavaScript, but it's not really CSS because some of the properties will name will be named differently. Like you can have cannot have dash in the name, so this is not really C CSS in JavaScript. But this is a real is the real deal. So it actually uses CSS inside of JavaScript, and as you can see, this is being used by a lot of folks. So a lot of these companies are all doing it. So you probably can see that they do see benefits in doing it. So yeah, a good way to tell when something is a power by style component is that when you take a look at their, uh, the class names for every component, you're going to see these hashes, these randomly generated hashes. So they are usually a telltale sign that this app, what well, this website was done in, with style components. So all of these websites there are doing it. So what is the motivation behind it? Well, in the documentation page, in the motivation section, it's a good uh, outline of why you would want to use this as opposed to the traditional way of styling your application or organizing your CSS. So first is the automatic critical CSS. Now start with style components. You only load the CSS that you need for your components. So it will it comes with like built-in out of the box optimization for CSS. There's no class name bugs. So every like I mentioned before, every class is going to be a unique hash. So we'll talk about how you can debug this later, but every class has a unique hash. So you will guarantee that no component will will have a class name conflict or accidental use of class names across different components. Easier deletion of CSS. So when the CSS is tied to your components, you can easily delete. If you don't use the component anymore, you just delete the components, and then all the CSS accounts of it will get deleted as well. So it's very easy to maintain your, your code. Now dynamic styling is the ability to theme your application. Um, we'll talk about this later, but this allows you to easily uh, theme your application with uh, the theme provider helper from style components. Painless maintenance, so you will never have to have huge CSS files again. So if you're a dev, an experienced dev, you probably run into CSS files with thousands of lines of code. Um, so with this, you will never run into that problem again. So you will only you have it will force you to make small components with CSS uh, for that components, and then you build everything together. It's like React but for CSS. Uh, automatic vendor prefixing, that's pretty much self-explanatory. So this, these are all amazing things. So let's get started actually. So here I have a uh, Create React app. It's a very bare bone Create React app out of the box. So first we want to do is to install the style components. So you can just copy this and we're going to install that into our Create React app. You're gonna have to excuse me because I had a new keyboard and so a lot of my keys are uh, I'm not used to it, but hopefully it'll work. Um, I am going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. Now I'll get rid of that. So while this is uh, this will install the style components to your npm package JSON and there it is. So that's actually all you need to set it up. You don't need to do any build tool or anything and, and like pretty much it. So in this tutorial, I want to do a exercise where we will replace everything like 
uh, since create React app has a uh, the way it brings in the CSS is by importing the actual CSS file. So we're gonna change all that. In the end, we want to get rid of all of this. So how do we do it? So let's do uh, from outer div all the way to the inner div, right? So I want to replace this div class name app with a style component. So let's create a let's first bring in the style components library. So, right? so we're gonna do import styled from style components. So this will bring in the styled function and it will you will, you can use this to to perform various things. So first I want to so let's replace this one, right? Let's do it. So let's make a new variable. So you always want to define a styled component outside of a function's render methods. You don't want it to be defined every time it renders. So you want to take it outside of the app. So since app is a um, since app it's a it's a functional component, all it does is re return a render or something, right? So we want to replace this part. So let's call this app wrapper equals so you want to do styled and then you do two back ticks and then you write your style in there so what is the the style of the app so let's look at the app.css so for app all it does is text align center that's easy enough so let's copy that and then you just paste it in so it takes uh, directly the same syntax as CSS you just take it in and that's it after wrapper is done. So there's the other thing is since this is a div, you want to do style.div. So this return will so what this does is it'll return a div with a class that's hashed and with the property this. So now we have this, we can get rid of this thing. So instead of doing div class app, we can do app wrapper. So isn't that much cleaner? So now we don't have to do like class name and so and stuff. You just do this and you are done. So let me test this, right? So if I uh, actually let's do a couple more. So we want to do the app header next. So let's do const app header equals styled. So app header is a header tag, right? So we want to do header and then two back ticks. And then we're going to copy the style for app header. App header was down here. So let's just take this. And then you paste it in. And now let's replace the app header with the new components. Right? So there you just have the app header done. So now the next uh, components we want to replace is the image com components, right? So the image components, it's pretty interesting because it's uh, it has animation in it, right? So this thing here rotates. So let's do it one at a time, right? So let's create a const. Let's call this logo styled. So you do style.img because it's an image. You do two back ticks. And then I want to bring in the style for the image, right? So what is the image? Image is the app logo, right? So it